When I first saw the house, I walked around the corner and the garden, it was completely overgrown and had rewilded. There were enormous quantities of brambles. I picked two and a half kilos of blackberries before I let the gardeners in with strimmers to try to see what we had. None of the hard landscaping was here. There was just a drop from the back door down onto soil and then the lawn. I inherited a lot of plants. I said to anyone and everyone, if you're trying to get rid of stuff, please, can I have it? The front garden has two large beds, one of which is much more Mediterranean in terms of its aspect. It gets baked by the sun. The other, because of the way the sun tracks it, is more typically English cottage garden. Certain things of particular interest, there's a Edgeworthia that we put in. There's a yew hedge that's growing down against the wall. To the left as you walk in is primarily a mixed border, so it has some seasonal bulbs, climbing roses, clematis. <laughs> We have a huge variety of trees in this garden. We have a small orchard at the bottom of the garden with pear, apple and damson trees. We have a crab apple and then probably the, the most unusual trees we have are handkerchief trees which we have three of them and when they're in full bloom they are exceptional. The fruit trees give way to a wide expanse of lawn, which is great for football. When we first tackled the back garden, we began by wanting to find out what we had. I was very aware of my limited horticultural knowledge. And I spent a happy afternoon with a tree surgeon, being educated as to what we had and what we needed to do to bring the garden back to life. The hornbeam hedge that spans the width of the garden had got completely out of control and it took a number of seasons to bring that back to the shape it is now. It's one of my favourite features. It zones the garden beautifully. Once we had identified the trees and what needed to be done to them, bit by bit we added beds. We've broadly added a flower bed a year and then after we'd been here for about three years we tackled the terrace. We felt that the house needed to be rooted into its landscape. This is at heart a working garden, so we have compost bins and an area for storage. We've got some raised beds. Last year we put in a greenhouse, so bit by bit that area is becoming more productive. The treehouse was partially here when we came. We had a wonderful Polish builder who made a shingle roof for us and he did it in the style of traditional lake houses in Poland. We took a dead cherry stump that had just been left and we incorporated it into the design of the staircase. It's been an idyllic place to play. 